Welcome everyone to the Mike on a Mic show. I'm your host Michael Vincent Valenti and I'm here right now in my studio in my basement of my parents house. That is correct. What I'd like to talk to you guys about today is the fact that I have come to a point in my life where I don't know what to do. You guys have been very supportive over the years and you guys have always been there for me and I really appreciate that. I would appreciate a lot of suggestions from you guys because right now I don't know which direction the show should go into. Or if you guys just want me to put the show to a stop completely, I don't know. I'm working on a few projects right now with Billy D. Kennedy and uh, I can't really talk about it, but you'll be surprised with, with, what it, with what I do. I'd like to let you guys know that I was in a mental ward at the Queensway Carlton Hospital for about a month. Basically, based on my religious beliefs, I was diagnosed bipolar or manic depressive because I believe in God. Medical science is totally the opposite of religion or spirituality. Jim Carrey is a big idol of mine and he's taught me a lot over the years and uh, I realized that there are a lot of bipolar celebrities out there and a lot of people with mental illnesses all around the world. We're all kind of crazy in our own ways. What I would really like from you guys is some direction as what you want my show to be, um, where you want it to go. I would love to be on television. None of the TV or radio stations in Ottawa recognize me as a powerful form of media because I'm on the web. I've been on daytime on Rogers TV with Derek Fage and TL Raider once. They interviewed me with the fact I was a volunteer there and I volunteered there for about six to eight months or so. I was also the mascot for 67's games. Riley Raccoon was my name. I've been featured in four different Algonquin Times newspaper articles. I believe I was on CKDJ once a long time ago, which is the Algonquin radio station. Um, I've been on Ottawa University's radio station, I think CKCU, um, with uh, Otto Hernandez. That was fun. Um, I've been featured in a Faces magazine by Carl Turk. It was a uh, feature on Mike on a Mic and my show. What I want you guys to realize about me is that I'm not my kind of Mike. It's just a character that I play. When I'm out at the clubs, I'm not usually drinking, I'm not partying, but I'm enjoying socializing with all of you people and answering your questions. A lot of people don't know the real me, the Michael Valenti side, is that I'm actually very shy and reserved and I don't really, you know, like socializing with new people. When I go to the clubs, I turn into Mike on a Mike, the character, and I end up being able to do everything that I'm not able to do as Michael Valenti. Uh, I'm 25 years old, so I feel like I'm getting old for the bar scene. However, I do still like going to Club Addiction and Club Edge because those are the two bars that support me the most out of all the city. Just because I was a mental institution doesn't mean I'm different. I'm still the same guy, you know? Whatever, call me crazy all you want, but we're all kind of crazy on our own separate ways, so. With Eva Darling, you know, I wanted to make peace between Mercury and Edge, and it didn't work out. Um, unfortunately, you know, and uh, I, I'm just a peaceful person and what I learned in the hospital was to forgive and forget. So there's certain friends of mine that I wasn't friends with for such a long time that I became friends with. And there's also certain friends that stopped being my friend because I was friends with these people that are from my past. I want to know from you guys what should be on my show. Like, uh, should I do celebrity interviews more often? Should I do sketches, parodies, stunts, music videos? Uh, bar videos, restaurant critic stuff, hotel management, you know, like, there's there's so many different sectors that you could put on the mic on a mic show, because this show will die without you guys. Every single day while I was in the mental hospital, I was very giving. I would help others, I would grab newspapers for people that couldn't leave, I'd grab coffees for people that couldn't grab coffee. Just little things, making people smile, listening to them, being compassionate towards someone, which the nurses didn't appreciate of. The nurses didn't want me dancing, didn't want me walking too fast, didn't want me helping other patients, uh, although there was like 30 of us, and I met a lot of cool people. And the people that took my advice ended up leaving before I did, and then finally I took my own advice, and then I was off form three and I became a voluntary patient. Uh, for a full week so instead of me just going home right away as a voluntary patient I decided to stick it out for a week and then I ended up leaving on March 6th um, it was a really long process to get out of there it took about four hours to leave uh, based on the fact that the nurses and the doctors were afraid that I was thinking irrationally they thought I wasn't thinking properly basically and um, 
you know, I know this is a very serious video unlike my other videos, but it's sometimes you shouldn't laugh. You know, sometimes it's not good to laugh. And you can laugh at me all you want, but really, I'm me. I know who I am. I'm Michael Valenti, and I play a character called Mike on a Mic, and I play nine other characters as well. But you guys can think whatever you want. It doesn't bother me. The only thing that bothers me is that I'm losing you guys because you guys aren't telling me what you want. Or I can just stop the show altogether and just sit back, get a job at Costco again, and make money, I guess. I don't really want to be a robot, you know, um, because a lot of entertainers like me, they strive to be very independent and they strive to do their own thing. That's the struggle with being in this industry is that, you know, there's so many people against you. There's so many companies against you. Your own family sometimes is against you because they don't believe in you. I started this in September 17, 2007. Basically, because I didn't know what else to do. I, all my friends had left to go to other programs in the school and we stopped doing Skin Bros comedy sketch team, which was our high school sketch team. We stopped doing it and I didn't know what else to do and all of a sudden these words Mike on a mic show pop into my brain and I write it down while I'm in marketing class and I just go with it. And I didn't have a microphone at the time, but I had a camera. So I'd interview professors and students and like film stunts at the college and stuff like that. Um, I just highlight the school, you know, and then I became the mascot Thor. I became Thor for like a day, which was really fun, which was my submission video for Rally Raku in the 67's games. So everything I've done, I feel like I've been pretty successful at it. However, a lot of people in the industry, bar industry and the media industry, they don't understand the kind of work that goes into each video. It takes me like eight to 10 hours to edit each one of your videos that I do for you for free. I have no problem coming out to the bars and supporting, but you have to support me too, you know? Like, not being able to get in the cabin that night, was, I don't know, I've done like four videos at cabin and 40 videos of all York entertainment bars, and this is what's happening to me, so, I don't know, you know, um, but it just it just sucks that I don't get the acknowledgement from the media industry in Ottawa right now, you know, like I know a lot of people in the industry, but they know me. It just doesn't seem like it's enough. But I do have this A channel cup, which is a cup that Max Keeping gave me a long time ago. He also gave me a cup holder that says live life to the max. And I also have his reference letter here, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Being in the hospital for a month kind of ruined a lot of stuff for me, and I kind of feel like shit. I'm sorry, guys, that I'm being emotional with you guys right now. It's just, I don't know how else to vent other than to my camera, to you guys at home. I don't know, I just want your support. Thank you for watching the Mike on a Mic show. I'm your host, Michael Vincent Valenti. Have a great day.